This discussion, this presentation, is about interpreting what the standard deviation means. Now remember, the standard deviation is the spread of the data from the mean. Now it doesn't matter if you're talking about the sample or the population. The interpretation is going to be the same. I'm going to interpret the sample standard deviation that we already calculated. Now, we calculated S to be 7.9215. Now remember, the mean is the reference point. So we need to calculate the mean. For a sample, remember our symbol is X bar, we take the summation of X, which was 276, divide by how many there were, 9, and that will give us our sample mean, which is 30.6667. Now to interpret this, we're going to use the three standard deviation rule. Three standard deviation rule says almost all of your data will be within three standard deviations of the mean. What that is saying is that all your data, you should never get a piece of data that is three standard devi deviations below your mean or three standard deviations above your mean. So what we're going to do to find this is take our mean, add and subtract the three of our standard deviations. So we're going to have two numbers. All right, our mean is 30.6667. Let's start with subtracting, minus 3 times our standard deviation, 7.9215. We always multiply before we add and subtract. Multiply the 3 times 7.9215, then we subtract it from 30.6667, and you should get 6.9022. Now we're ready to do the same thing except add. This will give our, us our upper bound. So again, multiply, then add, and you should get 54.43. Now remember when you're subtracting, always take 30.6667 minus your multiplication. All right, so we have our lower bound and our upper bound. So all of this data, all your data should be between 6.9022 and 54.43. So let's do, let's write out our interpretation. Remember we were talking about the number of days workers missed. So we have to put that as part of our interpretation. We always interpret in terms, in context of our problem. So the number of days missed is between 6.9022 and 54.43. That's it. That's all we have to do to interpret the standard deviation.